I figured out how to sideload not only apps to the new Google Chromecast with Google TV, but Stadia totally works. All right, guys, really big update here for the new Google Chromecast with Android TV or Google TV, I should say. So a lot of people were asking one particular question, and it was, can you sideload apps onto this device? And it appeared as though you could not. So if you go into your settings and you go to, to apps and then security restrictions, Looks like you should be able to do that here, but guess what? You can't actually interact with anything on the screen. Nothing seems to do anything. Well, turns out there is a way to make this work. All right, let's go back into settings. System. About. Android TV OS build. And then you want to click on that a whole bunch of times until you are now a developer. Now let's go back to that same place. App settings. Security and restrictions. And now we're going to turn on install unknown apps from whatever app you're going to use to sideload. In this instance, I'm using Explore. From here, I have Google Stadia on my Google Drive account. We're going to go ahead and copy that over. We're going to install it. What do you know? We're installed. Let's go ahead and open this some bitch up. Let's get started. I've not tried this yet, so we're going to we're going to do this together. Now, here's a problem I'm immediately seeing. There's no way for me to select that particular uh, button there so let's let's go home let's pair let's try first to pair an Xbox controller and just to be safe I'm gonna pair a Bluetooth mouse as well in case I need to like mouse down there to select that option all right so now that we've got both of those things paired let's go down to our apps Stadia, there it is. Okay, now let's see if we can just use our mouse to come down and select get started. Now log in. We're going to chase the cryptids. Now, this is interesting here. So it understands this is an experimental device, right? So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And let's just go ahead and fire up the only game I've ever tried on on Stadia. And we'll see what happens. And like I said, Xbox controller paired, working, functioning. Let's see how this works. And guys, what you're seeing here is PUBG running on Google Stadia on the new Google Chromecast with Google TV. Now we're going to need to see how this works. Now guys, I have uh, pretty fast internet. It's 300 up and about 50 or 60 down. So um, can't imagine any problems in terms of the internet causing any issues with this, but who knows how it'll work. This is experimental. This is not the final app. Obviously, Google is saying that the actual Stadia app that's meant for this won't be out until early next year. All right, so how does it feel? Let's move around. Let's see if you guys can kind of see the, the input latency here. We're going to jump. Um, honestly, that's not terrible. Um, I most feel the latency when I'm looking from side to side when you let go of the stick and it keeps going. That's definitely a little bit rough. Um, I think it looks okay. I mean, it, it's, you know, obviously you're playing on, you know, this is not playing on PC on maxed out settings. You know, this you're not getting any foliage way out there. Aiming will be difficult in a game like this because of that input latency. It's not terrible, though. I'm getting a 15, 14 millisecond ping up here, which is you know, pretty normal for, for Stadia. Let's see what it does when you're actually in the game.
And so let's try the Xbox button there. That does work exactly as you would expect. I mean, honestly, this is this is working pretty well. I mean, I don't know what else they need to do to this app to make it any better. I don't know what they can do to help with the, you know, input latency and things like that. Like I said, latency in a shooter style game, uh, definitely not optimal. You, you want things to happen the moment that you press the button or the moment that you let go of the stick. You want that to be instantaneous and if it's not, well that's gonna be a problem. Looks like he just kind of jumped off here. So we're going to go first person perspective. I think he just ran. Maybe he went downstairs. Okay, some pretty hard lag right in the moment that that guy started shooting me. I don't know that I'd want to play this like this. It's a little bit rough. Maybe on other games, that's not going to be as noticeable. Something that isn't a competitive shooter. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you now. So the, the doors are wide open. Do this and you can install any APK you want to install. I guess I need to test xCloud and see if it works any different. I don't have super high hopes because it didn't work that well on my Shield TV. But I guess I'll test that too. I'll get back with you soon. And until then, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks, as always, for your continued support.